Well, hey, what's up, YouTube? Pastor Matt here on this Lord's Day, April 29th of 2017. And on my mind today is the triumvirate of Reformed worship. That's right, the triumvirate, the three ways that we Reformed people believe in worshiping the Lord our God on the first day of the week, as the disciples did. Uh, the first of those three, the first of the triumvirate is, of course, corporate worship, the gathering in the assemblies of the believer to believers to uh, celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. That's why we do it on the first day of the week. All the way back into the book of Acts, it tells us that the disciples gathered together regularly. Regularly, they devoted themselves to the breaking of bread and to the apostles' teaching, and they would worship the resurrected Christ, uh, who had died and was raised again for them. And so that's what we do. We gather, we sing songs, we pray, we receive the sacraments of the Lord's Supper and sometimes baptism. We hear the Word of God preached, uh, we confess our sins to the Lord, and we enjoy one another's fellowship. And I would just say to you, listen, if you were a Christian and you are not in the regular assembly of believers, there's probably something amiss in your spiritual health because the Bible instructs us to gather regularly. Uh, in fact, the book of Hebrews says, do not neglect the assembling together. And that means that in our worship life, there is an expectation that there will be a corporate and dynamic aspect uh, to that. And so it is not just me and JC. When we get saved, we are saved into a new believing body, the body of Christ. Ephesians says there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and the people gather together as the body. So if you want to think of it as the three legs of the stool, corporate worship is, of course, that first leg. Uh, the second leg or the second part of the triumvirate of Reformed worship is family worship. And that means that uh, if you happen to live in the same home with a wife and children and or aging parents, uh, or your cousin's brother who <laughs> happens to be sleeping in the spare bedroom. You gather together as a family and you worship God. And for us, as the Everhard family, most of the time it's really quite simple. We just get out one of these and we read through it. We are doing the Psalms right now and also studying the book of Acts. And we have each person in the family, all the way down to the youngest, who is Simone, who's seven years old. She's expected to read from Scripture and we talk about it paragraph by paragraph and then we take prayer requests and we pray for the people that we love and that's our family worship we do that a couple times a week especially on the lord's day uh, today we got a little bit creative when we used one of these this is the uh the psalter we're experimenting with singing some psalms because that's part of our reformed tradition as presbyterians okay so that's the second part of the triumvirate. And then the third is, of course, private devotion. And I would highly recommend that every believer who loves Jesus, uh, that they would have some private or secret prayer, as they used to say. And that's when we simply have our devotions, as some people call them. I personally tend to read through the scriptures consecutively. I've been doing that uh, year by year month by month, week by week, day by day for 20-some uh, years since I've been a Christian, reading through my Bible. Personally, what I do is I have four different tabs, and I read uh, a couple readings from the Old Testament, a couple readings from the New Testament and the poetic books, and I just work my way through the scriptures and pray for the people that I love and care for, and especially our congregation. Okay, so just to rehash that, the triumvirate of Reformed worship, corporate gathering on the Lord's Day, family worship with your loved ones who live with you in the home, and then, of course, private or secret prayer, as uh, they used to say, the ancients. Okay, thank you for checking in on my YouTube channel. Lots of nerdy, geeky stuff here, mostly books, Bibles, theological topics, and other such things. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be really cool. If not, move on to the next video. Okay? Love you. Have a great week.